Just in time for her 99th birthday, an eviction victory for a San Diego woman on the brink of losing her Ocean Beach home. We got a lot of response when we introduced you to Betty Morse back in December. Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusin joins us. And Adam, she got some good news today, but her fight to keep that cottage is not over. Yeah, the case was dismissed, but all that really means is that this particular case is over. There's nothing to stop the landlord from refiling and starting that eviction process all over again. Betty tells me she's going to remain hopeful. Outside the courthouse, Betty Morse was all smiles. Well, I think it's wonderful. <laughs> yes. Betty got a small victory. She gets to stay in her little Ocean Beach cottage for now. I'm okay with whatever. I'm okay. I'm going to try really hard to hang in there. This morning, both sides agreed the case be dismissed. They didn't cross their T's and I and Dr. Isaac, like they're supposed to. And so I brought that up to, to them in a form of brief. And so they capitulated and said, okay, we're going to dismiss the case and start all over again. Andrew Griffin is Betty's attorney. He says you can chalk it up to a paperwork issue, but one that gives his client a little reprieve. You would think that maybe we could work out somehow that it could be remodeled and she could come back. Betty uses Section 8 assistance to help cover her rent. Late last year, the landlord served Betty with a termination notice. The termination notice said the owner is electing to opt out of the Section 8 program. They want to renovate the unit and then rent it at a higher rental value, market rate. Team 10 tried to speak with one of the landlords outside of court. I just want to ask if you have a comment or what your plan is from here on out. But she had no comment. Betty, on the other hand, told me this when I asked if she's still hopeful. Oh, gee whiz, gee whiz, yes, yes, yes. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'd like to leave my life on a little bit of a patient sweet note, <laughs> you know, rather than anger. And we also tried to talk to the landlord's attorney. She also had no comment. The big question here is what happens moving forward? The owner can start this eviction process all over again, and there's nothing illegal about trying to opt out of the Section 8 program. Nobody would tell me what their plan is moving forward, whether or not they'll let Betty stay or if she has to go. Uh, if they do move forward, this thing could end up back in court in the next few months. By that point, Betty will be 99. Reporting live in the newsroom, Adam Rakusin, Team 10.